test the convergence of this series. Whenever we are going to test the convergence of the series, we go for comparison test where we find limit of n tends to infinity of u by u n by v n which is equal to a value which is finite and non-zero. We check for it whether it is finite and non-zero. If it is so, then we say that u n and v n converge or diverge together. So to check this, we go for this P-series test. In this P-series test, we find summation n tends to n tending to 1 to infinity of 1 by n power p. So when you check for this p, if your p is greater than 1, then it is convergent. If p is less than or equal to 1, then it is divergent. So now we look after here. Now this is my ua. This is the general format which I come across here. In the numerator, I am going to take n cube common day outside. And in the denominator, I am going to take n power 5. So when I take numerator 2n cube, I will get 2 plus 5 by n cube. In the denominator, I take n power 5 commonly outside. So I will get 4 plus 1 by n power 5. Now when I simplify this, I will get 1 by n square into 2 plus 5 by n cube by 4 plus 1 by n power 5. Now consider you are Vn as 1 by n square. We have to find this limit n tends to infinity of u n by v n. So now we are going to find this limit n tends to infinity of u n by v n. So now I will cancel this. So I will have this limit n tends to infinity of 2 plus 5 by n cube by 4 plus 1 by n power 5. So when I substitute infinity, I will get 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2. So finite and non-zero. So I go for my P-series test. Since my limit n tends to infinity of u n by v n is equal to 1 by 2 which is finite and non-zero, I come to know that my u n and v n converge or diverge together. To check out whether it converges or diverges, I should go for P-series test. So when I go for this P series test, I should find summation n ranging to 1 to infinity of what is my Vn is 1 by n square. So here it is 1 by n square. So this is my Vn. So now when I compare this with 1 by n power p, when I compare this with 1 by n power p, my p is equal to 2 my p is equal to 2. So, when we check out, when p is greater than 1, the series is convergent. When p is lesser than or equal to 1, it is divergent. So, my p, which is equal to 2, is greater than 1. So, I say that summation vn is convergent. So, when I look after here, both un and vn converge or diverge together. So, by this comparison test, we say that summation un is also convergent.